Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing a speed build, but it's just a speed renovation of the house that we just moved into for my 100 baby challenge. So I absolutely love this house from the outside. Oh my goodness, but I was just saying like, oh my God, ignore the little um, shelter I've had to build over the farm area so that everything grows. But yeah, the outside's beautiful. The landscaping's stunning, but the inside is just not my style. I know it suits the outside of the house, but I'm like, mm, I kind of want something a bit more modern. And upstairs is really, really tricky to film in because of how it's built into the roof like this. I don't actually change it in this build, but I'm kind of starting to think I might need to because re-watching this footage um, to edit it, it was just like, it's really painful to look, like play up there and it's just a bit, I don't know. So I think I might have to maybe try and make this into a two-story house. Um, I also just dumped all of this like um, water catching and solar stuff out the back of this place because I just want to try and make as much money as I can off the, we well, you know, like try and get off the grid, I guess, so that we don't have to pay bills. Anyway. My first step was to open this place up because I'm not really a fan of like this very closed off sort of style. And again, it suits the original like, you know, intention of this house, but it's just not really what I want, especially for gameplay as well. It's much easier if everything's open. Um, it gives me some clearer shots when I'm doing like, filming and stuff. And oh my God, as you can see, I did this like right as everyone turned up to do a welcome wagon. So the house is just full of random people. But anyway... Um, so yeah, the kitchen's really cute. I end up not changing it other than opening it up like this because I do quite like the kitchen. Although now that I'm thinking about it, it probably doesn't match my, the rest of the house anymore, but we'll see. Um, this little nook here, it was actually such a shame because the original person who did this build had put in like this adorable butler's pantry, but because of the way that like, you know, the half wall thing works, you could just never see it. And it was a real shame. So I did have to get rid of all of that, but you can see that in the last video where I actually move into this house. Um, here we go, updating the floorboards to a more modern floorboard. I love this one from um, Ego Lifestyle. In fact, I love almost everything from Ego Lifestyle. It is a gorgeous pack. Now that I think about it, I could have used even more things from it um, and I haven't had the chance to do. But I'm going to turn this bedroom here into the baby's room. Oh gosh, this is unpleasant to watch. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm turning this bedroom that was just a kid's bedroom into a baby's room because I want to be able to lock everyone else out of the babies. Um, and originally I had them in the room with mum and locked that door. But then I realized that we could never have anyone over to woohoo and make more babies. <laughs> so I've given them their own room because also there was three kids bedrooms upstairs plus the toddler's room downstairs. So we really didn't need another kid's bedroom down here. There's never going to be that many um, people in the house it's always going to be um like the max that we can have is eight anyway anyway so i ended up taking out this wall too because i just uh, yeah the closed off thing was not working for me and i didn't really know why there needed to be a room at the bottom of the stairs so yeah opened all of this up and i like this space much better now it just flows a lot better just moving things around a bit um and yeah making it work that little this little picture here gets moved a lot through this game keep an eye on it <laughs> Um, so just rearranging the lounge room so that it fits the new orientation because I got rid of that wall. Um, and yeah, just, you know, updating everything. I actually don't change a whole lot. Like I got a nicer rug, you know, nicer in my opinion. And then I, I get very distracted during this build. I'm like, oh, let me do things in this room now. Decided this, this wall was too boring. <laughs> so put some cute little decals on it for the babies. Um, and updated, oop, updated uh, the furniture a little bit. I don't love this, but I was like, eh, it's a baby's room, it works. Um, and I know that like having the bookshelf in there is kind of, you know, unnecessary since no one else is gonna be able to get in there, but um, it doesn't really matter because I end up putting a few books, like there's bookshelves everywhere. So it doesn't matter that only mum can reach that one. It's, it's unimportant. Just some cute little, yeah, just some cute little decorations in here and a plant because you can't go wrong with plants. Um, Apparently we're going to change the color of that. There we go. Very important. And a rug. Um, yeah, I thought it would be cute to put a rug in this room, just a bit more cozy. Anyway, back to the lounge room. Like I said, I jump around a lot. I'm sorry. I was just like easily distracted by things I was seeing in the background. So I put in like a slightly more modern looking rug and then I ended up just changing the color of all of this furniture because it was kind of okay. I was like, nah, it's cozy. I don't think we need like a super modern looking couch or anything. Um, but yeah, um, I ended up getting rid of this light because it's a weird looking light. Um, and I think I take off the curtains as well. I'm not a fan of a lot of the curtains that this game has to offer. So even though, again, like they're fine, they're cute. I just would rather not have curtains, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a game, like they don't need to keep the heat out or whatever, like real curtains do. So 
it's fine. Here we are repainting all the walls in my classic gray, I think it's called the plain but pretty wallpaper. I like the white skirting board with the gray walls. Um, and I really just needed to get rid of that like stucco, stucco, I don't know how to say that wall that was everywhere. Again, suits the original cottage, but it was just not for me. Um, I needed it to look more bright and vibrant. Um, I went for a very blue kitchen, but I actually love it. So um, kitchen, this is clearly a bathroom. Went for a very blue bathroom and I love it. Ooh, I think I could just, I'm like now thinking of things that I'm gonna probably change after um, watching this build. But this little bump out in mum's room is a bit weird and I just realized I could just get rid of it entirely um, and make the wall to the lounge room a little bit smaller. Anyway, how cute is that? Um, the shower, I've never really like changed. I don't know if I've used the shower to be honest. Um, but I definitely hadn't looked at the swatches of it in a while and I really liked that. Just a very simple bathroom, you know, toilet paper, a, a towel, a, a, you know, the things you need in bathrooms. Um, and then I decided this wall was super plain and I was like, oh, you know what could fix that? A window, what a thinker. So um, I was gonna put in this double one, but then it sits too close to the wall, looks really weird. So I found the single one that matches and popped that in. I was very stressed about making any changes that would affect the outside of this house, just because of how pretty this house is. I was like, there's a lot of pressure here. Um, I also changed all those doors to a white instead of the dark brown, which means they don't match the windows anymore, but I think it's okay. It just needed it to be brighter. I love this. This is also an eco lifestyle and I'm just like, Oh my God, this pack is gorgeous. I find that like, I feel like a lot of the, um, I'm quickly building a basement. Don't ask me why. Um, <laughs> well, do ask me why, I guess, but don't ask me why I did it while I was halfway through doing mum's bedroom. Um, nah, I, I realized that she has, um, like I wanted to do a basement or at least have somewhere for her to have like a lot of fitness stuff indoors. So I was like, oh, I'll do that now while I'm thinking about it. And now I'm back here. But yeah, so, oh gosh, um, eco lifestyle. No, a lot of the newer packs, I just think they've really started to like, understand what nice furniture looks like um i don't know it's just uh, you can really see the difference in the styles and i really really love a lot of the new packs i think they've done a really good job i used that little decoration again but i was like it's a house full of kids of course there's people like of course there's kids making cute little things for mum. Um, and then I ended up using this wardrobe and built it in because I was like, oh my gosh, she can woohoo in there. Um, but it's a very weirdly shaped room now. Um, and then I decided to give her a little feature wall because this room was a bit dark, but eh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I changed the color like three or four times. Um, eventually I settle on something. I think I settle on like a bluey color. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, looking at this again, I think I might just get rid of that extra bit of wall because it's like a really dead space, like that kind of semi hallway into her room. Um, just a bit of plants, love some plants. You know, I'm gonna put plants as many places like as I can. Um, but yeah, gonna get rid of that maybe because it's a bit awkward and I don't think the wall needs to be there. Then I put in this extra room and a, um, I'm gonna make it a laundry. Then I just discovered that this roller rink exists in the game and I put it outside because we have a huge backyard. So like, why not? And there's so many kids in this house. Like they might as well have somewhere fun to play. Um, anyway, uh, I don't even know. Then I'm fixing up the lighting in this place because it's a little bit dark and I'm just like in real life and in game, I just need light everywhere. I'm not about these like semi lit rooms. I can't handle it. Also, I redid that other bathroom without actually showing you apparently. I just cropped that out of this video. So it's almost exactly the same um, with the walls and the floors and everything. And I just updated the appliances a little bit and now the game's not doing anything. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, so what's next? <laughs> Nothing, apparently, just some moving around, moving backwards and forwards a lot. Good, okay, let's go upstairs. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna paint upstairs, fix the coloring of up here. See what I mean? It's just really hard to kind of see what's going on up here. Also, I realized watching this back that I don't even think we need this third bedroom upstairs. Wow, these are some really terrible shots. I'm sorry. Um, it's because I have my build and buy menu uh, doubled and I like didn't know how to get rid of it. So I actually have to restart the game in a second because I'm an idiot. Also rewatching this, I've realized there's a toilet on the other side of that door um, and I haven't, and I, I just didn't move it. So I'm gonna have to go and do that in a minute um, when I finish this recording. Uh, again, I just jump around a lot. Then I was like, okay, time to go into the basement. I spend so much money on this build, by the way. I have like $900 or something left by the end of it. Um, a lot of it goes on fencing. I put a fence around the house later and a lot of the money goes there, but you know, whatever. I was, I was expecting to spend like almost all of the money on the move. So I'm happy to just spend it on this renovation anyway. Um, I'm just kind of, yeah, updating the 
uh, updating, like <laughs> making a gym for her. She's always just had this punching bag her whole time because there was just nowhere to put extra stuff in that house. Then I realized this gym is huge and I was like, she does not need this much space. Oh my God. So I just like shrunk it down a bit. Um, trying to get this stairway to work was really awkward. I had to end up removing a bench so that I could have the, like, what's it called? Uh, banister. And it looks a bit weird popping up there, but I just didn't really know what else to do. I almost thought about putting a ladder in instead, but I, it's still just going to be a bit of a weird space. So I just left it, put in some uh, laundry ba baskets upstairs. Maybe I should put some downstairs as well. If I remember, probably won't. The laundry is so cute. Um, I know I'm insane putting a laundry into my hundred baby challenge house. Like there's not already enough stuff for me to deal with. Um, but I kind of had been thinking about doing it in the old house and there just wasn't space. And I'm like, ah, why not give myself one more thing to have to like keep up with? So I was like, yep, I'm going to put in a laundry and have to deal with dirty laundry of eight Sims at a time as well. It's pretty simple, but it was cute. I liked the colors. I use a lot of those like pastel colors upstairs. We are just kind of giving all of these rooms a makeover with just some more modern furniture. Um, just, I don't know. I just, you know, none of this really works for me. Again, it really suits this like cute cottage core vibe that she had going on, but not for me. Um, but yeah, watching this, I'm like, I don't think we need six adult sized beds upstairs. So I think I might keep the left two in this side and then maybe this right one, I might just turn into some sort of like skill room, I guess, maybe I'm just going to get rid of those beds and put like, keep the desk probably. And maybe just put in like the microphone and other, like kind of other random skill things, maybe a guitar and stuff as well up in there. Cause I just don't think we need this many beds. I honestly don't think we have all of our Sims asleep at the same time, even if we did. Um, and we can always just chuck in another one somewhere if we really had to, um, because we have like, you know, a different number of Sims for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, I think I will probably do that in the future. But anyway, just changing up all these beds. I didn't say anything about that last room. I love these four poster beds that you can see at the bottom of the screen. They're just so pretty. I had to use them. Um, and each of these bedrooms kind of has a slightly different vibe to them. These ones are the eco lifestyle beds. Really love those. I put a bunch of plants in here too, because you know, why wouldn't I? Um, oh good. Didn't even show you what I decided on. Nope. Nope. No, nah, you didn't see it. It's fine. You'll see it in the game eventually. Yeah. So I took everything out of this room, put some more beds in, changed those ones up too. What are these ones from? Don't even know. Couldn't tell you. Um, can't see it on screen, but yeah, they're also quite nice and modern. Ooh, maybe tiny living actually. That would make sense. Um, cause I think those side tables are from tiny living. Um, so another bookcase and that's like a functioning bookshelf as well. So there's just books everywhere. This is actually a custom content, um, desk and I really love it. So too bad, used it. <laughs> and then this is actually what I'm about to put in here is custom content as well. The furniture in this room is a bit of a mismatch anyway. Um, I really love the styling that I put onto this little um, dresser. So I think I probably will keep that and maybe move that elsewhere or it can probably stay in this room too. Who cares? Um, but yeah, I think we might get rid of it. And then I put in one of these like, don't wake the llama games and I haven't play tested it to see if it actually works in this corner. So I'm going to have to double check that. But I have been wanting space to put in this game for so long. So I just want more things that the kids can like do together. So yeah, that's what, that's what that's about. I can't believe how dumb I am with that bathroom upstairs. I definitely have to fix that. Um, just took the window coverings off everywhere. Um, I did up the backyard, but I actually cropped out most of it, put in the staircase. God, I'm so bad at stairs. I don't know why I left in my struggle with this. Here is my big ass um, fence that I just put around the house that cost me like all the money in the world. I don't really know why I did it, but here we are. Anyway, this little guy gets moved for like the fourth time. Um, and this is pretty much it, I think. Yeah, we're coming up to the end. So just finished up the painting. I ended up changing the bath to a shower up here because obviously showers are so much more practical and quicker. We don't need three baths in this house. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this renovation. Oh my God. Yeah. And then this kid's room that for some reason I left right to the end. I wanted to use these adorable four poster beds as well. And it took me ages to, um, figure this like arrangement out. I was just like, I can't, I didn't. Bleh. And again, it hasn't actually been play tested in the final arrangement. So fingers crossed it works, but yeah, we've got three beds and a, and a toy. Oh, I don't know if that little play thing's going to work, but we'll give it a go in the game eventually. But yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.